everybody, Roper Bulls FM here. Hope you guys have been good. Um, welcome to my second video of this series of the my Mansfield Town Ultra Save. It's a, basically a playthrough save, but I will only be featuring key matches. But I will be going through some of the stuff I think you guys might be interested in going through how I play the game and my style of play. Really. As you guys can see, I'm already in. I'm done with preseason. Uh, my team really looks set for preseason. I will just quickly run through the fixtures for you guys. Slow start, two draws. FC United. We should have been drawing that one, but positive. We did score three goals, so that's a good positive for me. Basel. We played five, two, two nil, two nil victories. One away, one at home. Then really, uh, the best uh, match of the season of uh, the of the preseason for me, Stoke under 21s. They look like a good side, and we managed to beat them. So Ayola could only score one, and they scored a penalty. So really a good start, and we came from behind um, against an under 21 fresh under 21 Stoke team. So I'm happy with that. Then we smashed. Newcastle from Wales I think but they've got a lot of England players in so I don't know really from where they are but we just smashed them and um, Corwin I played my first team I thought will be able to start and kick off the season for me only a 4-1 victory and then Tamworth um, a 5-3 victory not too happy with the defensive work but keep in mind this is my B team so Christian Piers really showed what he can do, but unfortunately I will be going through my team taxis a little bit later and then just show you guys who I'm going to start and the reasons for it. So let's move on to the team tactics screen. I just clicked wrong there. So for the next match, um, Carlisle, we're going to really put in a very strong side as I want the side to carry it on into the next match on of we're playing Blackburn um, which is a tough match in the it's going to be a cup match really we're looking to win that cup match so I will be playing a team they might be a little bit tired but I believe carrying over form will help a lot as you guys can see I'm going to start with Brian Jensen, he's my oldest player in the team, 40 years old, loads of experience. He's going to be my number one goalkeeper for the season. Um, Lee Collins, my fullback. My Loney, Satka, is going to start on the right centre back position. Tavazoli, really my best player at the club for me. Left centre back, he can only play left. He's more of a limited defender, but I'm I'm faithful in his abilities to play centre back. Mal Benning, actually a winger, but I'm gonna play him as a left back as I don't really have any left backs at the club. Um, so I will be playing him on left back position. Adam Chapman really had a great season. He's my best midfielder at the club. Really had a good preseason. I'm really looking forward to his season. Um, hopefully he can stay injury free and carry the team, guys, because he's my advanced playmaker. Um, support supportive role and really looking forward to working with him. Chris Clements also at the club. He's my central or deep lying playmaker, but he can also play a little bit up the field. But for this formation, for this match. He will be playing deep lying playmaker. Matty Patterson, he's my ball winning midfielder. Actually a left back. I did sign him from on a free because he's South African. Obvious, I have to be biased towards South African players. But really, I had to sign this guy on a free. Stats doesn't look amazing, guys, but hold on there. Um, he really had a good season. He's passing his but we're gonna work on that I think he's already on an individual training program for his passing but otherwise than that he really has good determination he's really got 
or average workload but good technique um, aggression is where I wanted bravery is where I wanted um, composure it's good enough so really his physical abilities as well is good enough for me and that's why he will be my ball winning midfielder my number one ball winning mid ball winning midfielder then I had some wasn't sure about this player on the right wing but he did show in a couple of friendly matches that he can do the job he's a little bit slow for a winger so I am not too sure if I want to play him really but I did decide to go for him Lambe from Bermuda quick can cross has the technique has the flair amazing winger can play left and right I think he's actually more of a right if I'm I will just check quickly for you he's more of a right midfielder so but more than a um, midfielder but he can play left and right and center so great 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 player for me and hopefully he can develop as well he's got loads of potential um, as you guys can see his potential is quite high four stars for me then Westcar he has to start unfortunately Bursley is injured only coming back now I think no not coming back now but Chris Bursley is out injured for two to three more weeks because of a pulled hamstring and Giro Lama on loan out injured so Westcar really had to start there but didn't have a bad um, season and he He's really not a bad player, so he, we can work with him. He's aging and he's a little bit slow, but I, I believe he has a quality to get in a few goals. He's match shop that doesn't look too great, but I've got a youngster on the bench that will replace him. Um, I didn't give this guy a lot of um, I didn't give this guy a lot of opportunities to play in the preseason matches, but really believe. Because he gave, I gave him actually one or two chances, and the last chance I gave him, he really performed immensely good. So he will be on the bench for me. Then this is the bench, Nick, Nicky Hunt, Christian Pierce. Unlucky to not make the team. Um, this lad is really good, but unlucky not to make the team as my Loney and Tavazoli can't miss out. Mitch Rose also unlucky to miss out. Clements will be have to will be will be having to work very hard in order to keep this guy out of the um, out of the starting team. As Mitch Rose is also a very good deep lying playmaker, and he can also play ball winning. But this is my ball winning reserve is Jamie Maguire. A little bit any on the aging side, but still decent enough. Nathan Thomas, he's a magnificent winger, but just lacking a little bit on a few of his abilities, um, technical wise and mentally wise and physically wise. But otherwise than that, he does have some potential to develop technically, uh, so far as I can see. So he will be hammering on the door to get into green spot and then as I told you guys toy on the bench and then the rest of the squad is there big squad but a lot of features ahead a lot of injuries that can be um, done throughout the season but you need to have faith in your squad eh? so before we get into the match guys um, I see there will be time for me playing the match on camera on this number two but let's quickly just go and run through the transfers I did as I really had to do quite a lot of transfers um, wasn't happy with the squad I gave I got really really under under average squad for me as you guys can see I took the place of Adam Murray who was a player manager I took his place as manager but he's on a free and I don't believe he will ever sign a contract with me because I took his job um, 
Joe Fitzpatrick, a 17-year-old that can really already play first-team football, but decided to loan him out, um, as I'm not sure how much time he will be getting in the first team. I've got already, I've got six midfielders, and he won't be making the cut. He's got the potential, and he's got the stats by the look of things, but he's not 100% ready. So we'll be learning him out and hopefully he can gain some match experience, get some mental stats up and then we'll work on his technicals when he gets back. So the first signing I made was a loan from Sheffield United for Diego de Girolama. Great potential in this player, good player overall and unfortunately to be injured for 6-7 to seven weeks now but really good. Tony Ayala, I'm not going to talk too much about him because I already terminated his loan. He wasn't good in the friendly, so I already terminated his loan. Harry Hickford, one of my favorite learnings at the moment. He's coming in as number third, as a third, as a third center back. Great stats, great ability. He's still young, so he will be in a rotation system alongside with. Sas, um, Satka, so here you go, a loanee fr Satka from Slovakia, loaned from Newcastle, who is my affiliated club. I did arrange for the board to get two new affiliation clubs, so I'm really exciting with, um, working with them. Actually, I think Derby is one of them, and but they were there, and then I arranged for... Newcastle to be my other affiliated club and I did choose them for players like him who has high ability and high potential and really can make a difference to my season. This is really the difference to win or lose. Then I signed one new centre back, still quite young for me, not the greatest attributes by the look of things but he might be making a break into the first team. He's on my reserves or under 21 team will be making a few appearances for me but not the best player I've got on central defend the thing is he's from Ghana I did I did make um I did make a approach I did make a signing approach for his one friend from Ghana to sign him but unfortunately got turned down because of it really got turned down this guy Owezu much better player great physical attributes great mental attributes and then average technical attributes but unfortunately work permit got turned down but I did apply now for work permit or appeal for the work permit so we'll just have to wait and see if we can get that. So that's how my squad is looking at the moment. Dan Fletcher also loaned out as a young player and I made a just a silly offer for Gal Birimana. Not sure if he is going to be able or wanting to come to my club but if he comes he will be my number one deep line midfielder or deep line playmaker. Really looking forward. So guys, I've been waiting for this moment since ever. Let's get into the game. So we're playing Carlisle. Now Carlisle, really, I'm not sure they that good, but we have to see, wait and see what the media thinks they're going to achieve. So the media prediction, 14th. So we should be able to win them. We've got a great squad, really got a great squad. There's nothing else to note here, except they. we've got a great start to the season. We really, training-wise and my pre-season-wise, I really am hitting the ground running. Really happy for the, for, for the preparation, because I'm really happy. Um... Because of we of our preparation, it has really has been going well for us, and I think 
I'm sure this was a media prediction for the match, I can't really remember, but as I already said at the match, we can really hit in to the match. I need to give squad numbers as I was waiting for the signings of OAR and stuff, as I'm not going to give a loany um, and um, at the number 3 jersey, I won't be able to do that, I only want to give my club players that I signed and 1 to 11 as numbers and then this guy can really join in with my as a number 19 shirt as he actually do, does deserve the shirt for making the step up so early in the season so we are slight favorites here and then I'm five weeks in charge. Their manager has been 11 months, so <coughs> technically his team has to win me because they much more settled with what he says, what he does, stuff like that. I still need time to get into that. As I really told you guys, my attribute for coaching is poor, poor, poor. I really made it as realistic as possible. So hopefully I can grow as a manager in the game now, but. My key man, Adam Chapman, as I told you guys, really strong player um, and hopefully he can make his passes. So I'm going to play on extended, play on classic. Let's get into the match, guys. I'm going to just say apply advice and then as they say, this guy looks quite dangerous. Let me see. We might be closing him down more often and show him onto his weaker foot. As a Moa, this guy doesn't look too dangerous, but he doesn't look too not dangerous. So I will be handling my team talks as I really want to improve on that path. Uh, what do what what will we say for the first game, guys? What will we say for the first game? I expect to win. Maybe go out there and give the fans their money's worth. Oh, that helps for one player. Then assertively, I have faith in you because I really do have faith in my players because they did settle for a great start in the um. Preseason and really did do what I instructed them to do. We're playing a much directed approach. Sorry, I didn't go over that. I forgot about going over the tactic tactics. But we are playing a direct approach, as you guys can see here. We're playing normal tempo, fairly wide, closing down sometimes. I didn't put it on more. Direct passing hit early crosses and that's all I gave as I don't want to instruct and overload them too much at the moment we will do so later on when my tactical knowledge and stuff gets better as a manager so let's hope cross our fingers and see if we can take an early lead but already Carla looks if they are in great control of this match so far and they score so can't close a guy down on that hitter we could only try and mark him tighter so I don't know how they scored that goal maybe Satka is the guy responsible as he still lacks a little bit of experience but it looks like it could be Tazav Foley So who's that guy in there? Who's that guy in there? Oh, it's Clemens missing the header. So really the midfielder shouldn't be in there. There should be a better header of a ball marking up. But Clemens is my deep lane. And we got a chance, but offside. Come on, guys. I'm not panicking yet. As you guys can hear, I'm still quite chilled as my... Reputation is still yet to have set, so I'm still got nothing to lose. 
I'm still quite set. We just we should, we will score. We will score. Yeah, I can see we don't have any possession, so you don't have to tell me that, Mr. Manager. They shouldn't tell me obvious stuff. They should point out stuff I don't know. Oh, we we dropped to the 22nd position. That I don't know, so you can point out that for me. Really don't have any possession because we're playing a lot of a direct approach. I'm really I don't know always if it's the cleverest approach. Technically, I would have played my style of play that I like is playing short passes, working the way into the box, keeping possession all the game, but really going out and shoot as much as possible. That's the game plan and um, game plan I like. But I played on at a slow tempo. But the board's philosophy is playing a direct style and as I thought I could take it out I actually pressed the wrong button and then it just said no I don't want to take anything out well I wanted to take it and I wanted to take it out and replace it with possession football but then they didn't give me the opportunity so then I just decided oh, I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna play a little bit of direct football and see how it works out and as you guys can see the preseason went well but that was against weaker opponents and now we are measuring ourselves against actual good opponents so now we hopefully we can win them so our media prediction is 20 seconds so technically we're only supposed to win players who are quite below us but I'm gonna go for promotion we just need more position and Patterson is already on the yellow card for what knows the reason, I don't know. He's just struggling to get that position back and they hit the post. Luckily for us we escaped, so Patterson can counter now. That's why I play direct football, it's for counter attacks guys. And it looks good so far, counter attack, let's, who can score for me? Clemens, get the ball back in. Come on, boy. And nothing of it. So, 30 minutes in, nothing of it. Really gonna go to aggressive and say demand more, as they nearly even they actually nearly scored. <coughs> I don't know if the team talk went through now. It did. But they really should be showing me a little bit more. Clem is not having the best game. Missed the interception. That cost us the goal. And I don't think he's landing his passes. His rating is just going down and down and down. Same with Pattison. So I might make a half-time change. That's also one of the things about my manager style. I like to make early substitutions. Really early. I don't leave it late, and there we concede a second goal, our own goal. Ay, 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 guys. Where's offside? That was not that offside. And you score own goal. Come on, Collins. So, I'm busy humiliating myself, and that's why I'm going to get start getting aggressive here. No, close him down, close him down. How can I say they must close him down? Close him down. So I'm really not ha happy with that. Um, so show me something different in the second half. Everyone seems motivated because they know they're doing something wrong. Um, I'm going to go for more mixed style. Retain position. We need more possession of the ball. We need to play a little bit more wider. Um, and I think we should start running at the defense. So that's going to be my predictions for the next half. I won't be doing individual team talks. I think I made my mind clear by shouting and walking out. 
they're ready and I think they know how to play now play wider play wider that's it you should really play wider don't get tackled play wider um, I'm gonna make my substitution anytime soon I'm just waiting for that little bit drop in in conditioning as they tire and where score that was a real chance that was a real chance why didn't he score or control the ball I don't know so Patterson just performing worse and worse and really Maguire I need your experience Maguire please come and help me we need to grab two goals can you help me assist one Thank you, Maguire. So Jensen playing it all the way to Westcar, which flicked it on, but for no one. Don't know why, and then we lost possession again. And play. Oh, that's offside. That's offside. Ref! Ref! Surely that was offside. Surely that was offside. He was waiting in an offside position. There. Oh, my dear. What a bad call. Or oh, not called. So, 3 not down. I'm starting to lose patience now because I'm, I'm not a loser. I'm a winner. And that's what I'm going to do with this Mansfield team. But sometimes losing up front in the season can't be that bad because you've got time to rectify stuff. So when you start losing at the end of the season, that you should start worrying. And then you can't rectify it. So hopefully I can learn out of this and I could know what players could actually perform and watch which players does not perform. And there's my su second substitution. West card really didn't perform for me. Really did nothing to show that he's actually good. Um, I'm just hoping they can really find their feet now. So I will be going team talk assertively and encourage them as they might not be encouraged. And time's just flying by. Still not really got position, but I think it got better than the second half. And we got eight shots, which is not bad. It's just not on target. So really not playing bad. It's just we can see it's silly goals. And we can't score goals from set pieces. I really do need, need a seat set piece taken. Maybe on the left wing. Oh, Doe is the only teenager in the squad and he's playing like a professional. Well, under 18 in the squad. Or in the team. Satka not playing a bad game for his first. John, guys, as I say, it's still early in the season. I'm not too worried yet. I really think it's a question of asking how cohesive is my team. So maybe more teamwork training in the next couple of days, as I didn't do a lot of them in preseason. Only got one week for working on the team cohesion. And ah, oh, green, that should have gone through. Um, really, a 3-0 defeat, can't risk any players, so Saka has to come off, as I really have, should have played Hunt actually in this game, and he was much better than Collins in the preseason, but he's technically my reserve left back. And he's my left and right back. And he's my only reserve left back. So I actually do need him. But maybe Mal Benning can go into the reserve position. 
because he's having a shocking game as well. But as I'm telling you guys, we will be working on cohesion and we will come back stronger. It's a home defeat which hurts even more. And I don't even want to check in how much before 3000 fans and you lose. No guys, let's let's we need to get out of debt because of all the signings I made. Oh, we got there. Well done. I thought he's not going to own Doya. Doya is the only one playing Chapman Green. Oh, and Gillespie. What a save, Gillespie. I'm just picturing that in my head as being a goalkeeper myself. Picturing that in my head. That must have been a great save. Doya is playing very clever. Maguire hits it over. Oh no. We we are not playing bad. It's just we are not scoring. And I don't know why. Come on guys. And the other thing I learned from other saves is don't make too many changes, even if you lose. The more changes you make to your team system, stuff like that, the harder it gets to actually win games because the more disrupted your team is coming. And we can't lose 4 0, guys. Then I'm gonna get aggressive. 3 0 is not good, but it's the start of the season, guys, and. I don't know. I am actually pleased with their performance. They don't listen to me. But I really am pleased with their performance. They don't have to believe me. So that's how that. So now preparation for Blackburn game. It's going to be tough. Because I actually wanted to go into Blackburn game with high morale. Stuff like that. But really, not the best. So, you see, as you guys see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 debutants. As I didn't sign them, it's been signed by the man, by Adam, Andy Murray, or Adam Murray, before me. So, that's why I didn't know about all of them, but. I really should. That's that's main. That could be main of the one of the main reasons why we lost. Is they not hundred percently coerced yet? So yeah, it devastates that um, this all they did underperform, and I will be looking to change them. But please, fans, give me some time. We're looking for another affiliated club, but this time one that we can learn players to. And then, he also had a bad day at the office. He's very tired, so I won't be playing him soon. Maybe I should give him a, a small rest. Not a holiday, maybe just a week's rest. Don't know where you see if he's on rest or not. Okay, he's being rested now. Needs a rest and he's being rested for eight days. Which is long, but I do like pressing players out. But this concludes basically the my first game, a 3-0 loss. Thanks for watching through all the pain with me. I'm really gonna hope and make it up for the next game. I don't know when I'm gonna go back on camera again. Hopefully by a next good game, 
the Blackburn game not really one for camera as it is a Capital One game but I will be playing that off camera but thanks guys for watching and I hope you guys all um, so you hope you guys stay well Robo Bulls FM over and out thanks for watching and tuning in my next um, my third video please tune in and I will be uploading that soon thanks guys